Hey ya kids, today I'm going to show you how to install Debian 5, Lenny, in VirtualBox. So let's begin. First, download VirtualBox. Link in the description. First, click on the blue button that says New, or press Ctrl N, or if you're on a Mac, Command N. First, give your VM a name. I'll make mine Debian 5. Set Linux for the type and Debian 5 Lenny as the version and either 32-bit or 64-bit depending on which kind of ISO you got. I got a 32-bit ISO, so I will choose that. Click Next. Select the amount of RAM you want to use. The default is 1024 megabytes, but I'll make it 1536 megabytes. Next, select the amount of disk space you want. I'll leave it at 8 gigabytes. Click Finish. Next, click on the orange button that says Settings or press Ctrl S, or if you're on a Mac, Command S. Go to the System tab. Under Pointing Device, set it to PS2 Mouse. Go to the Storage tab. Click on the blue CD icon, then click on the blue CD icon with an arrow, and click Choose a Disk File. Navigate over to your Debian 5 ISO. Link for the one I use is in the description. Once you find the file, double click on it, and click OK. Then, click on the green arrow that says Start. Once you see the screen, you can choose between a normal install or a graphic install. I will choose a graphic install, so I will press down, then enter. Choose your language. I will choose English. Click continue. Choose your country. I will choose Canada. Choose your keyboard layout. I will choose American English. Then, it'll detect and mount the CD, load and solar clones from the CD, and configure the network. Enter the host name. I will leave it at Debian. You can enter a domain name if you want to. I will leave it blank. Choose your time zone. I will choose Atlantic. Choose Guided, Use Entire Disk, unless there's another OS on there and you want to keep it. Choose the VirtualBox hard disk. Choose a scheme to partition it with. I will choose all files in one partition. If you change your mind, you can change it here. I'm happy with these settings, so I will just click Continue. Select Yes and click Continue to partition the disk. It'll then install the base system. Choose the root password. I'll make mine Debian. It will ask you to re-enter the password too. Enter your name. I'll make mine TOWF. Enter your username. I'll leave mine at TOWF. Make a password. I will make it the same as the root. Also re-enter that password. It will scan the ISO and ask you if you want to scan another one. I will select no. It will ask you if you want to use a network mirror. I don't want to use a network mirror, so I will select no. It will install some stuff, then ask you if you want to send info to the Debian developers. After installing more stuff, it will ask you what you want to install. I want to install a desktop environment, laptop stuff, and the standard system. After choosing what you want, click continue. It will then install the stuff you chose. This might take a while. After that, it will ask you if you want to install a grub. I will install it. It will do some final tasks. If VirtualBox hasn't ejected the ISO already, do so, 
by releasing your cursor and going to Devices, Optical Drives, and click Remove Disk from Virtual Drive. Click Continue to boot into Debian 5. It will then reboot. Press Enter to boot normally. Then, it will boot. Once you see the screen, type the username and password that you set earlier. Then, it'll bring you to the desktop. Thanks for watching. I hope you're happy with your new Debian 5 VM. Bye!